Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to play Scorpion in Mortal Kombat 11. This may be a different video than what I'm used to, but I've mained, I've mained Scorpion, oh well, kind of. Scorpion's my best character and I want to help others. Cause I see a lot of peop people play Scorpion at a low level and just, you know, throw out random teleports and just try to do the same thing over and over again, just only doing for damage. And I and actually knowing how to play Scorpion properly. So, a bit of an overview slash guide. So, I want to talk about some of his normals. So, his down one is 7 frames, which is pretty standard. And he's got thir plus 13 on hit, so you can't just, you just do that. I don't know, actually, you kind of can, but you can't mash the throw, for example. But it's 7 frames, and that's pretty average. His down two, 10 frames, high. And obviously crushing blows and like every other character and i'll talk about that later take down three eight frames some mediocre range but you know it's pretty standard down three 15 or plus 15 on hit and um and then you've got the down four which is 11 frames but a pretty good range yeah. um plus 15 on hit as well and just to show you what it looks like when the Vora blocks these. The down one is minus six, so it's safe, but it's not your turn anymore. Uh, minus six, or minus six on the uh, down three as well, so the same thing. And the down four, minus nine, and the up and down two is minus eight. So other than the down four, you're pretty safe. This has decent pushback, so not a lot of eight frame attacks can punish this. So honestly, your uppercut's kind of safe. Unless it gets um, blocked, or not blocked, I uh, have ducked. So, there's your crouching facts. And next, I'd like to talk about a few of his normals. Like his back two, his back three, and his forward three. And I'd like to talk about these because they're pretty unique. So, rising cut, this is just one input, and it's two stage attack. So it hits mid, and then it hits overhead. But the thing is, you can cancel after this first hit into a spear, or you can get your full combo off of it. That's cool. Now, it's not the best to confirm because it's 15 frames on startup. And, um, hold on, let me ask the war to block this. And, um,. And on block, this is minus 10, and you're right in their face. But, you know, it's still a decent move, and it's something that you can hit confirm pretty easily. But, you know, so it's a nice normal, it's overhead at the end, but he doesn't really have any low hitting special moves, if I'm making a mix up. I just want to talk about it because it's a unique attack. His foot kick is 22 frame overhead. It's only minus 5, by the way. A lot of people think that this is going to be unsafe. And the best thing about it is that... Look at all that hit stun. I have time to dash in and pressure you on, like, up. Which is really nice. And I can just... So on wake up, I can just hit you with a really quick low poke and make you hold some chip damage. Or I can just keep kick. And if you time it right on wake up, they have to deal with this. They can't, they can't, um, back roll. They have to deal with this, or they can forward roll. And then last, flip kick. This is a 13 frame mid, and this is one of Scorpion's most important attacks. Because it leads into this combo, which is minus 7, with all the pushback. And it crushing blows, and, and on block, this is actually really good to go into the throw. So that's something you can mix in. But another thing is, if you have certain variations, this is going to be your go-to combo starter. Like this. Oh, I, I messed it up. I have time to run. But, Flip Kick will be your go-to combo starter. So, this is a very important attack for Scorpion. You can unblock, you can go for throws. That's actually a really good mix-up. But forward 3-2 is an overhead and then a low. It's very unsafe, and this is only in certain variations. So, keep that in mind. Anyway. Um, enough with those, let's go on to the combo strings. And I only want to talk about 
the good ones, I guess. I only want to talk about the, uh, the ones you would never use. Now, I do want to talk about Torment real fast, because it's not exactly the greatest, but it's minus six, so it's pretty safe, and it has a really long knockdown. So what some players will do when the opponent has no wake-up options is they'll go like this. I'm sorry, they'll go... So they'll do this, and then they'll go into this. And just do that, and hard knock down you. That's plus 30 in your face, and they can just pressure you. So if your opponent doesn't have wake meter to wake up, then um, then this is actually really nice. And what are they gonna do? You can flick kick, you can pressure them with your throws and all that. So that's a good strength. And again, it's pretty safe. Um. Next, I'd like to talk about uh, 2 1 2 because it crushing blows in a combo of 8 hits or more. Now, normally it's pretty okay. The, um, decent damage, long knockdown, but Scorpion's more of a hit high zoner than a real zoner. But the best part is, it's, it's plus 7 on lock. Now, because of the pushback, this is basically resetting the neutral. Right? And it starts in a 9 frame attack. So, if somebody is like minus 8, or like minus 7, or minus 6, and something you can't punish, and you just want to reset to neutral, you can just do Dark Soul. And reset to neutral, and that's not a bad idea, honestly. But, the best thing about it is obviously, the combo. So, um, you want to do this, maybe? This is pretty simple. But it's one bar, 33%, but you can see that Devora is taking blue damage. And if you count it all up, it's close to about 40%, which is not bad for one bar. Overall, the crushing blow is not the greatest, but the bleed damage is nothing to, be, nothing to stop at. Actually, one thing I'd like to look at, my bad, is the throws. I forgot to look at, at Scorpion's throws. Um, and they both crushing blow, by the way. Um, but you have your forward throw, obviously. Keeps them at about jumping distance. This is actually pretty decent damage for, um, for you to pressure with your forward three. So that's not bad. And your back throw, if you want to put the opponent at a bit of a distance, is nice. And let me show you the crushing blows for these. So let me turn on, um, sorry. Easy crushing blows. And forward throw will only do 18%, but if we look at all this bleed damage, that's close to about, that's 28% of the aura. And that's some good damage for a throw. And then how about the back throw? Alright, it's actually the same thing do, anyway. 30% flat. So, that's a bit better. You're getting more damage and it comes out faster. So, there's that. And a lot of Scorpion players, like, maybe it's just the way they are, but they almost always do forward throws, you might notice that. So, honestly, just a back throw like this, some big damage, can catch an opponent off guard. It's, it's, it's weird how it works, but it does. And, um, I'm gonna keep easy crushing blow on, because I'm about to talk about another crushing blow string. Go ahead and talk about Fallen Ashes. <laughs> falling Ashes, my bad. It's this 4 3 4, but it does 16% and it combos. Right? So, I'm a little rusty right now, so I'm sorry if I'm dropping combos. But, you know, yeah, that's, that's somewhat difficult to do that. Actually, the easiest way to do this is to do this. You could go like. Something like that. That's one bar and 35%. That's not bad at all. Usually, you can only get about 30%. And then, honestly, if you want to spend the extra bar, or, or I mean, I wouldn't recommend spending the bar. That's probably your better bet. But if you wanted to spend the bar, there you go. You should. Uh, well, actually, my easy crushing blow is on, so I wouldn't show you. But you could actually go into Dark Soul there and get a two crushing blow combo. That'd be really nice. Um, it's impractical, but 
if someone's low in life and you just want to finish them, it's not a bad idea. I will talk about this stream real fast, because it starts in a low, and its second hit is an overhead, and this can confuse a lot of play. Like, people that don't know how to play against Scorpion get eaten alive by his, by his strings. Low, because low, overhead, mid. <laughs> mid, overhead, low. Like, there's a lot of mix-ups inside his combos. You have low, low. And then you go into mid instead. That's not really my favorite mix-up. And then you also have this fist. So, so lots of mix-ups with Scorpion, in terms of his strings. An experienced player won't get fooled by them, but somebody who's new to the game will probably will. So keep that in mind. But Scorpion does not have a whole lot of ver diversity in what strings he should be using. This string is very unsafe. Let's look at this. This first attack is minus 14. And then the whole string I mean, that's minus 15. I mean, just- the, and it's not like you can just do the first four, or the first two from my back, uh, cause that's 17. And then this version, and then if you do four- if you do this version, it's safe, so you can hit confirm, this is back one, four, one. Or you can hit confirm into this, cause it's safe. That's back one, four, three. Um, and now we're gonna go into the special moves, and he doesn't have a lot. I'm gonna exclude the deaths, the uh, special move, the the variation specific moves. These are the only crushing. These, or I still have the forge one for some reason. My bad. These are the only um, normal moves that he has, and one of them, or normal special moves, is one of them is just an air version of the other one. But it's the quality and not the quantity. And then we'll talk about it here. Help for it. While you're in the middle, or I'll just talk about health first, it's a bit easier. So if you do back forward 3, you get a teleport attack, 50 damage on high, it's 23 frames on startup, but it is very unsafe, negative 20, and actually a good player can just duck it and then uppercut you for full combo. And that's not good. But, you can meter burn it, and then the second hit is mid. And to this day, people will still get caught by you meter burning it and then trying to punish too late. And then just eating the second hit. But this is still unsafe. It's four minutes okay. So throwing out a neutral teleport is good for two so throwing out a teleport is good for two reasons. If I just um, go over to Devor real fast. Um I just tell her to throw a out at me. I can just do this, and it's a punish. Full combo. And you can't zone Scorpion, because he just does that, and you eat a full combo. I can spend- you, know, you would never get that person to work. But, you can just spin the bar, and there's nothing the Devora player can do. Or, I mean, they can just not throw projectiles. But, if they decide to throw a projectile at Scorpion, and he sniffs that out, he can just teleport. You can do it from the air, too. It's still 50 damage, it's still high, it's a bit it's actually sorry, it's the same on startup. It's pretty much the same move, but the animation looks very different and you do it from the air. So it's actually really nice, because you know, you jump in, they try to uppercut you, and then you say no. Yeah, you know, jump in, they uppercut, no. So that's actually nice. But that's helpful. You never want to throw it out in the neutral unless or throwing projectiles, or you can hit confirm it. Next we have Spear. Now, in most games, this is a meterless combo extender for Scorpion, but in this game, it's not. Without meter, it side switches in 11%, it's 11% and it side switches. And, um, yeah. It's a high attack, so you can just duck under it, and it's very slow. But, um, how do you get combos with this thing? is by amplifying it. I have easy crushing blows so on. That's I should not have that. But um sorry. So if you amplify, you get less damage, you only get 70. But um you get combos off of this. Alright? So you can do uh, it's not a whole lot of damage. You're not gonna use it very often. A lot of the times Spear is better for ending combos rather than extending them. 
but there is the crushing blow, which happens when you um, do this move, when you hit a meter burned spear, or sorry, an amplified spear, from a maximum range. Now, to my knowledge, there's like no way to set this up in a combo. And you have to meter burn it, as you can see. But, if you do, you're getting 13% instead of just 70 to start your combo. I mean, like, if you want to just turn two bars for 30%, it'd be my guess, but it's not a lot of damage. Really not that helpful. But, I guess, hey, if you for some reason don't want to use teleport to punish for this house, you could use this. Time properly, I guess. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't see much of a purpose for those out in the neutral, but hey, on Amplified Spear is a great good combo. And that's all for that. Um, there is the Fatal Blow, but... I mean, I guess I should that. That's not like... Um... Hold on, let me, uh... Put my health down to 1%. But... It's 21 frames in startup. It hits mid. And it's not difficult to hit confirm. Like, I could probably do... I'd like to know try that. Yeah, that works. But, um, so yeah, you can do that. This is a good way to get a nice fatal blow combo. Let's just look at the damage. It scale this fatal blow isn't the greatest for scaling. But as you can see, really 45%, which is not bad. And you may be like, well you have to spend a bar in a fatal blow combo just for 45%, and that's true. But Scorpion doesn't have a whole lot to spend bar on due to his few special moves. He really just has combos. Other than that, he's spending bar on wake-ups, and pretty much it makes wake-ups combos, and occasionally, you know, maybe, like a full-screen punish, I don't know. But, those are really the only kind of easy thing either, so it's not a big deal. And then, let's talk about his variations. I'm gonna go with the three tournament variations, just to show off those. So the first one is called Reborn and I'll display the special moves he has here. Okay, so you may be confused because these moves, because Hellport is already a move that Scorpion has, but this does two things, two ways to cancel it. You can cancel your Hellport in two different ways, as I just said. You can hold down and you just come up behind the enemy and stop, and this can go for a throw. Or, if they block, if they duck, and that would duck the throw and the high, you can do this, and go for your mid, you know? So, and then sometimes, they just get scared, and you just don't cancel it. Now, one of the biggest problems is, if you open the bottom left, I use defensive meter, which is not good, um, but, you know, every now, so you shouldn't be spamming this, like every time you do a teleport you shouldn't be doing this, you know, it's predictable, and you waste meter. But, the less, the less helpful way to, to camp, to do this, is to just do this, you know. The only way, you know, sometimes, sure, you can... Um, like, do a hell for it, and then bait them into this, and sure, that can happen, but it's not very likely, <laughs> don't get your hopes up or anything, it's just, it's likely not gonna happen, but I guess it could, what is that, but, um, for, but mostly, the thing about the variation that you want is this cancel, throw mix-ups, you can just go with this. Alright. Now keep in mind you don't have the um four three two in this variation. That's a uh variation specific. But um you know you could still just do the first hit. It's not as much damage of course. But it's still twenty nine percent. It's still pretty good. And of course you can do the same thing for the air air help or Yeah, sorry. 
So, yeah. So you can do the same thing with the air help port. It's weird how you have to hold up forward when it's a quarter circle back move. But, you know, you can do And again, this can happen on occasion. I keep trying to do 4 3 2 because I'm just used to that variation. Um, but hey. And then you also have a Demon Slam, which is an air grab. Air command grab. And it's a really good air to air. And also crushing blows when it's done by itself, which means you don't combo into it. And let me just show you that. Now, I'll also show you how you can combo into it. Um, we'll just tell the board to jump in on me. Alright, sorry. Alright, jump in. I just timed it. And if you get it by itself, it's unblockable, by the way. 15%, but it does bleed damage. It does a lot of bleed damage. Actually, let me uh, take off the 1% thing. So you can actually see how much blue damage we're getting here. You can also amplify. But um, just to show, you're getting about 25%. It's not bad. You're actually getting exactly 25%. And if you amplify it, you get um, uh, 31%, which is not good. No, not great. Sorry. Pretty good damage. Um, but the best thing to do with this move is to combo into it. And unfortunately, well actually, you know, I'll, good news is, you can combo into it decently well. I mean, that combo is a lot of fun, but as you can probably tell, it's not a lot of damage. 22%. Like, that conversion definitely is really fun to do. And if you're just playing Scorpion for fun, then the Demon Slam is great for those combos. The Demon Slam is mostly to keep your opponent out of the air. Because they don't, they're they scared of catching Scorpion in the air as well, and them just taking 30% and not being able to do anything about it. And that's scary, so... Not the greatest combo potential. A very fun combo potential, but not the greatest combo potential. But it's really good for just scaring an opponent into not jumping. And that's the first Scorpion variation. And now to his next one, if we can go to that. We have the Searing Rage variation. This is the variation that I'm more comfortable with. So this variation has these special moves. Or the, uh... Tax carrying. So you have the 4 3 2. You also have another one that I didn't really talk about. You have Wrath. So 2 1, which is an almost string, and then you do 2 plus 4. This string is actually good damage. It's plus 16. And it starts off 9 frames. Now, one problem is that it's actually. Never mind. It's, for some reason, I thought it was in place. It's minus 3. So it's safe. It's not a command grab, this last hit. It's a mid. But it's minus three, so you're pretty safe. It's actually a nice way to end your combos. If you can actually time it right. Um, I'm not exactly good with those kinds of combos. I, I don't do it very often. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to do it personally, but you can learn how to combo into this and just get a nice long knockdown. Personally, if I want a long knockdown at the end of my combo, I just do torment. I feel a bit more comfortable with that. But if you can get the timing down for Wrath, it's a bit more damage. That's nice. And then of course you have Hacking Slash. You know, great. If this last hit is in two stages, but you can combo after the first one. And it's actually really easy to hit confirm. It doesn't matter though, because um, it's, it's unsafe either way. It's minus 25, unlike Wrath, which is very safe. But if you can hit confirm, like hack and slap, you could just hit confirm hack the 4 3 if you're good enough. Because, as we said earlier, this is pretty safe. So if you're really good, you could hit confirm the 4 3. Um, but that takes some skill to do. But if you can do it, then kudos to you. What are best ones? Now, this attack is uh, quarter circle forward four, and all these attacks are made that way. And he does a barrage of attacks, it starts at the 11 frames, 
and you can amplify it and you get some more damage. You get 14% instead of that 9. Now this move isn't exactly the greatest, but it is good for a few things. It's good for chip damage. Watch. Watch Devora's health. Um, I mean, that's... Well, that doesn't really accurately depict it because of the first attack. But let me just tell Devora to block all. And... I amplify this. That's a decent amount of chip damage. You're minus 20 though, so keep that in mind. Normally you're minus 19 with a pushback, but it's still pretty punishable. But if you have opponent like really low, this is a pretty nice tool to just kick him out. Cause that's a lot of hits. I mean if I look or if I uh like let's look at how many hits this is in this combo. Four and then if you look at it's six, so good. Good stuff there. Alright, this is taking a while, but I just want to get in the scorpion. And then burning spear is the last one. This is a damage buff for all your spear attacks. So for example, now you're doing 18% on this. Now, so normally hacker slash is 12.3%, but this is now doing 14.5. And your health port does 50, and now it's doing 80. Normally your spear does 110, and now it's doing... Or, I don't know why I have it. Now it's doing a bit more. So if I do this before my main combo, instead of just that 31%, I'm getting 35 now. Which is really nice. It's 7... It's just something that you should combo into because it's my it's plus, it's 17 frames on startup, so you could do so you could just end your combos with that, and then you do that, and you know, you're pretty safe. But you just get a bit more damage, and if you amplify, then you attack enemies trying to punish you. It's almost never worth a bar, but. If somebody's below 50 health and they try to punish you, then it can be kind of funny to catch them with this, not gonna lie. I've done it before. And it makes them pretty mad. But it doesn't affect the buff in any way. Just to, just to prove it. Um, 84. 84. So it doesn't do anything. And that's it for Scorpion, basically. Um, just to end it off, I'll show you some combos. But as you can see, he... Oh, he does have a third term of variation. I'm stupid. <laughs> I forgot that they added three. He has Sim Blade and he has Misery Blade. Sim Blade is an air attack that you can do. And it's like an MKX air attack. Yeah, it's like a ground round. Yeah, you have to do you have to go up. It's basically like an MKX ground round attack. It's really good for corner combos. That's about it though. <laughs> I mean, it's not much. It's got. Uh, yeah, can only use from from neutral jump. It's not bad, but not exactly the greatest. I want to be able. To, I want time to talk about Misery Blade. And this is a stance move. There is a time limit. Here's the time. Plus, you can amplify. And two different ways. So if I do normal amplify, I hit a 10% overhead. If I go back and amplify, I do an 80% low. Or, not 80%. Um, 8% high. But the little specter makes it really annoying to death. It's definitely possible, but it can be hard to do so. But a lot of times you don't want to spend a bar. That's understandable. How about your options that don't cost bar? Well, you can do the sweep, which was 4, and that's a low. You can do the poke, which is a 3 frame mid. Keep in mind, though, you also have to take into account the 13 frames of startup that Misery Blade has. So in total, it's like, it can actually kind of cancel it, but it may be a 3 frame attack, but it's not coming out in 3 frames. But that's not coming out in 3 frames, that's coming out in like, mid, like 10 some frames. But hey, if you're already in the stance, and somebody just like tries to mush you down. They poke them like that. That's kind of. That's how they create strike. 
which is just like the overhead, but a bit less damage than the other side. It's a very punishable, by the way. I'm speaking of punishable. Uh, minus 17, and this is minus 4, so it's your 6 there. And then you can cancel the square, but keep in mind that it takes a defensive bar to do so. So, overall, this move is pretty cool. It's actually kind of fun to just mix people up with this. You know, do that, and then sometimes you just cancel in front of them. You know, it's pretty fun stuff. And sometimes you just you know, do a normal low, and it catches them off guard. And sometimes you just do a safe poke. You know? It's a, not a bad move, but it's just a little gimmicky. It's not that this variation is bad, it's just Scorpion's other variations. Like, a variation where you can cancel your teleport into any which way, or a variation where you can get insane combos. You can, not insane, not anymore, but you can get some great 35% one bar combos. Just a, a cool stance gimmick just doesn't really compare. But hey, you know, if you can learn how to confuse the shit out of people with, you know, mixing up your cancels, and what you do after said cancels, just like your lows and your amplifiers, then it's not a bad move and you can be good there. Sinblade is really fun for corner combos, but other than that, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> like, this is a cool combo. Like, it's nice to be able to do this. Don't get me wrong. Oh, if I can convert it, it'd be nice. But, like, what are you gonna- or, you should probably just do a 4, yeah. If you can convert that, it's not bad damage. But when are you ever just gonna be able to aim the neutral? Just <laughs> neutral jump and land a thin blade. Almost never. But in the corner, it's decent damage. But anyway, this wraps up my very long scorpion guide. I hope this helps you. Um, get better at Scorpion. I might, if you guys like this video, I might do some more guys for other characters. I was thinking maybe doing Spawn, Joker, all those characters. I'm just going really in-depth on how to play them and what they do. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, like I said, make sure to like and subscribe. And um, let me know if you guys want to see another combat, or another tutorial video. Uh, thanks for watching. And, um, well, peace. I'll leave you with... Uh, one with last combo. Uh, I'll leave it. I almost forgot. I'm coming in to post you. Uh, how to do the combo without half and slash. You want to do that, or you can do this. You don't want to go into the misery blade. That was an accident. But, um, you know, you could start with this, and that's 8 frame. And, um, or you could do this, and this is 11 frames, this is what I like to do. And this one is thing. That's pretty easy damage. But, um, if you have tournament variation 2, hoo hoo, the combos are much juicier. You want to do forward, three, two, into. Actually, I'm going to put all the moves on screen. So you're going to want to do a four, uh, four, three, two, help port amplified. Another forward, three, two, which I can't put on the screen again, and a spear. So you're going to put all these moves together. Pretty simple stuff. You're going to tell it. You're going to do uh, cancel the hack and flash as the second hit lands. You don't want to cancel too early. And you can't cancel after the second hit. So after that first hit, and after and do the same thing there. It's pretty easy damage. And again, if you use your burning spear beforehand, you get a bit more. Maybe it's about 35 instead. Uh, that's your basic one more combo. I almost forgot to put that in the video. I really apologize. Um, but yeah, you can get about a little under 30 normally, but with best case scenario, one more 35. That's pretty good. Anyway, that truly wraps up the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.